Greetings and welcome to an LGR blurb. And today I've got a disc pick for you right here. Uh, disc pick, not any other kind of D pick. Anyway, this is a disc library system. Apparently it was sold to Staples at some point, but uh, yeah, look at this thing. It's like a modular design kind of, I mean, it's just one of them, but you could be stuck together with others and make this crazy tower of disc pickers. <laughs> It's a, it's a silly name, but I like the idea. I've actually been looking for something like this for a long time now and uh, ran across this randomly while browsing eBay one late night. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to get one of those. Apparently it was made in 1990 by GP Technologies in New Jersey. And uh, it's literally just a three and a half inch floppy disk holder that you can apparently stick to the side of your monitor <laughs> or your computer or whatever. I'm not going to do that, but... Uh, I like this. I like this idea. And and the reason I've been looking for something like this is uh, you might have seen in the background of some LGR videos, but I've got this CD holder that's, uh, it's not quite the same. In fact, it's totally different, but you know, it's got the idea of holding multiple CDs and a cool little holder that you can push these levers to uh, pop out CDs. This is a uh, Kalmar Designs uh, CD holder. I, I don't know what else to call it. It's made of teak wood. It's uh, something I found at an antique store a couple of years ago or something. And I've got it upside down here because uh, otherwise, if you have it the other way around, the CDs just plop right out on the floor. This puts them up at an angle if you have it upside down like this. So I like the way it looks. I like the way it works. And it's wood. Uh, this disc pick is obviously not wood, but I don't know, it kind of reminds me of it in terms of the way the discs seem to pop out of there. Maybe they won't. Maybe I'm just fooling myself and this is not actually what I need, but whatever, we're going to open it up and see. I've never used one of these before and uh, I'm quite curious. Oh wait, there's, there's stuff. Yeah, spring-loaded access. I mean, that sounds like what I kind of want to do. Push to access, push to store. Cool. Okay, this is neat. So it is relatively new old stock, it looks like. At least uh, this port, this part, portion, hasn't been used. Not that, okay. I don't know if I will use that, because it's going on the back, but... Uh, hmm. All right, how to use your disc pick. Do uh, you pretty much use it? <laughs> It looks pretty straightforward. So mount your disc pick. Uh, you can, you can do that. All right. I don't really care about this stuff, but yeah, you got this back mounting holes plate thing. Cool. It looks kind of, uh, you know, kind of ugly on its own, doesn't it? Uh, I'm having second thoughts. I don't know where I'm going to put this. It, this would make a whole lot more sense if it were uh, a lot of them, right? I don't know, maybe it's still cool. Let's see. Hey, 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 oh, that's slick. I've changed my mind, I do like this. So we've got some little adhesive strippy things here. Oh, again, probably not gonna use those. Hey, look, you got the little spring mechanisms back there. They're like little leaf springs. All right. So yeah, I've got a whole range of floppies that I normally keep on hand for my different retro computing projects, three and a half inch ones. It'd be cool if there were one of these for a five and a quarter inch as well. Maybe there is, just haven't seen it, but uh, yeah, these are just random ones. I don't actually use all these all the time, but I just want to put a few of them in here really quick to see how it works. <laughs> okay, how does this work? You just, hmm. Okay, so it, it kind of works by, oh. So let me rearrange the camera here. So yeah, it needs gravity to do its thing. It's gotta be pretty well flat. So it was like this when I had it angled for the camera there, that wasn't really working. Uh, but this way, it kind of looks like you just, <laughs> so that's a little clunky, but it does work, right? You just, uh, uh, 
Yeah, like that. It's just weird when there's multiple discs in there. <laughs> oh no, they're all coming out whenever you press one of them. Let's get more discs in here. So I didn't even, I wasn't sure what the mechanism would be like. It'd be nice if there were actual buttons, you know? Instead, it's just sort of barely being held in place by these little plastic arms. And that's it. It's a satisfying little mechanism though, like, yeah. So let's say I wanted this disc here. Yeah. Uh, it's like, <laughs> oh no. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna use this or not. I like the idea. It's just a little uh, cumbersome and silly because whenever you try to reinsert one, you gotta be really careful about not pressing one of the other ones accidentally. Because uh, yeah, they're just barely held in place there. You barely touch them, and look at that. Well, that's the disc pick. Disc library system. Man, could you imagine having a whole wall of these? <laughs> that's all this video is. <laughs> Thanks for watching.